We're in Verona, Mississippi today to tell you the story about the marriage of Gladys and Vernon Presley. Come along with us. Let's go explore. Just like the information taped up to the old town hall front door asks you to, we're going to first consider the marriage of Vernon's first cousin, Vona Mae Presley. In June of 1927, at the young age of 14, Vona Mae Presley was married to a man named J.H. Ernali Orser. They went to Pontotoc to get an application for their marriage license. These folks here at this old town hall, nor I, have been able to turn up a picture of this couple, but a copy of their application can be seen taped in the window. As you can see on the application, Vona Mae's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Noah Presley, gave their permission for the couple to marry. After getting the application and Pontotoc, the couple made their way to Verona to be married by the Verona mayor, Mr. J. M. Sample. Vona Mae's marriage to Nolly was short-lived, but they had one child named Mary, born in 1928. In 1931, Vona May went to the Lee County Courthouse to get an application for a marriage license with a guy named Marshall Brown. Then they made the short trip to Verona to be married by the Justice of the Peace, Robert Kelly. They had three children, J.P., Joyce, and Freddie Brown. When Vernon and Gladys wanted to get married in June of 1933, why well, they had just did as Vona May had done in the past. Vona May and Marshall took Vernon and Gladys to Pontotoc to get an application for a marriage license. Marshall paid the $3 fee. Gladys was 21 and Vernon was 17. In Pontotoc, no one would know that Vernon was underage. He listed his age as 22 on the application, and Gladys listed hers as 19. After getting the marriage license, they made the short trip to Verona to be married by Justice of the Peace, Robert Kelly. They were married right here on June 17, 1933. I just wonder why they always came back to Verona to get married. There's a neat little antique store across the street from the old town hall with some architectural stuff sitting around outside, and you've briefly seen the train coming by. There's not much left in this little community, but a lot of good folks and the place where Elvis's mom and dad got married. Just think, without this sleepy little town, the world may have missed out on the boy who would become a king. As we take one last look at the town hall, I want to invite you to like, share, and subscribe on your favorite form of social media and check out some of our other videos on Mississippi entertainers. Thank you for coming along with us to Verona today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Very much.